Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Of the United States of America. To the republic in which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty. And justice, justice for all. Hey Grizzlies, it's Jose, and I just wanted to let you know that track season is up and running now. No pun intended. Ha! Two weeks ago, they had their first meet. Here's some footage from the meet. And remember guys, go out and support our track team. Hope to see you out there. What's going on Grizzlies? I'm Felix Cisneros and this is The Grizz Minute. So, I don't know if it's just me, but I've been seeing plenty of these cubes lately, and to be honest, I thought they died off, but I mean, I guess not. I guess the Rubik's Cubes is somehow making a magical comeback. The cube wasn't originally called the Rubik's Cube, it was first known as the Magic Cube. The cube was invented in 1974 by a Hungarian architect, Erno Rubik, who made it to explain 3D geometry. Ironically, at first he couldn't solve it himself, but then after about a month of playing with it, he finally figured it out. The cube reached its peak in popularity in the 1980s and went toward the year in 1980 and 1981, even though the great majority of children could not solve it, which then resulted to cheating by peeling off the stickers and placing them in the correct order. Not me though, cheaters never win. So there you have it, there you have a bit more info of the Rubik's Cube, the cube that frustrates and entertains others. Hey Grizzlies, Grizz Games is coming up. And just in case you are a freshman or need to our school and don't know what Grizz Games is, take a look. Grizz Games is an annual event where eight teams of four girls and four boys in each team play games against each other. Grizz Games will start Monday, March 14th. Elizabeth and I'm Frida and we are here to introduce you to an amazing and helpful website. Gale Student Resource Database will help you find credible resources for your future papers. By credible, we mean not Wikipedia. All the information written on the Gale is written by professional and respectable authors, as opposed to bloggers just sitting on his or her couch. These resources that will help you get the A you want and also better prepare you for college. So let's go see how to access and use this amazing tool. First, go to granitehills.portableschools.org. Then scroll down to where it says link and click on Gale Student Resources Database. Right here you can look up any topic that you need information on. All the resources are reliable and can be used as references in papers you are assigned. So remember, next time you need information for a paper, Gale it, don't Google it. If you would like to submit a picture of you and your animals, the two of you could be featured on our pet page. Email your photo to yearbookspetpage at gmail.com. We would like to do a page that showcases all of the relatives that people have at Granite Hills. 
we would like to have our own family page in our book. If you have a cousin, brother, sister, or parent that goes here or works here, please go and see Ms. Chavez in room 407. There was a glitch with the previous email for the baby pictures, so please use this new email down below. If you send your pictures through this email, we will email you back confirming that we received your picture. We do encourage you to take your pictures to Miss Wolf and get them scanned at the library, so you will be for sure to have your baby picture in the yearbook. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Ms. Chavez. It's not too late to buy your yearbook. We only have 70 copies left, so hurry up and go to the activities window and put $20 down to reserve yourself a copy. Plus, we have a page for all you students with your cards. If you would like to have a picture with your card, go talk to Ms. Chavez in room 407. Hi seniors, don't forget to submit a picture of you and your car to the yearbook. Here's Juan with his car. So Juan, are you going to be submitting a picture of you and your car to the yearbook? Yes, of course. See, if Juan can do it, you guys should all do it too. Do you want to take it right? Yeah, let's go. Please join us today at lunch as ASB celebrates wrestling, academia, and basketball in the amphitheater. See you there! Hey Grizzlies, that's our show for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, snap us on Snapchat, and tweet us on Twitter. This has been Vital Information for your everyday life. This broadcast has been brought to you by DDC Grizz Media. 